In this video, we're gonna talk about how to clean rubber floor mat. It's a very simple, straightforward process. It doesn't take too much time at all. And you only need a few basic tools and products. Here, I'll be using the, uh, just a tire brush. This is, I bought it from Jay Leno's garage, but I mean, you can find this almost anywhere. This is a drill brush with a carpet attachment. And then this is an off-purpose cleaner. Use whatever you want. This one here is super clean. You can buy it locally basically anywhere in the US. Dilute a 10 to 1 and then the IK pump sprayer and that's all you need. You could use a pressure washer if you wanted if the floor mats needed it. I'll explain that in a little bit but here just that and then the garden hose. So let's get into the video. Okay so when it comes to cleaning floor mats there's absolutely nothing special about them. Since this floor mat here specifically and the floor mats were about to clean they're not that dirty so if it was like caked down with dirt and there's like a lot of stuff in between these grooves and such a pressure washer would be more ideal or at least at a minimum put it on a more um specific uh setting here with the garden hose so maybe like the the flat or maybe the center to really blow out out of the grooves and such but here it's not that bad so you can easily get away with just like rinsing it down with a garden hose a pressure washer if it's much worse and this one specifically this one specific like this floor mat the other ones are dirtier but this one specifically this is a uh, super clean diluted 10 to 1 in this pump sprayer for, um, this is the IK pump sprayer you can spray down all right again this one's not that bad this one's not that bad so don't gotta get crazy and you can either this is a tire brush and we'll work it in You kind of want to follow the line, so you're going to follow it this way, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down here. Again, this one's not bad, so I'll just put it on the shower, rinse it down. Now, as far as drying, you want to set it kind of vertically so the water drips down. If you have a blower, that'll be easy too, or with some towels, you can mop it up. But since this is the beginning of the detail, plenty of time to dry I'm gonna just put it on the windshield or somewhere where it's kind of up so the water drips down and let it air dry itself if there's any spots that need attention later on that's when I come back with a towel or a brush and just hit those spots that need it but for now I'm not gonna blow it I'm just gonna set it to the side okay so I believe this is the driver side so this one is a bit dirtier uh, again doesn't really require a pressure washer so I wouldn't really bring a pressure washer for this it would help but for this I mean uh, it's not gonna it's not a big deal so First, you're gonna to wanna to rinse it. Okay, we got the rinsing phase done. Now, you could go back with the tire brush, absolutely. But if you wanted to step up your efficiency just a little bit, or actually quite a bit, is you could use a drill brush with a carpet attachment here. This is the same one I use for the carpets. Uh, I just clean it off before I switch from here to the carpets, to the interior. And uh, this is a, a double setting. I don't know what the exact RPMs that it, that it, that it, between one and two, but keep it on two or one and literally just let it go to town. Uh, um, I did that just because the camera's right there, so I don't want it to fling up to the camera. But you could just let it go and just work it in, no matter how much water was there. So if you notice, I just went like cross hatch pattern. I just went left to right or up and down just to get all the area. And then I did follow the groove. So I did follow the contours here so it, I can make sure I'm cleaning just the entire surface area. And if you know like the brush that you're using isn't really getting into all the grooves, you could just switch back to the one that you need. Like here, it's having a little trouble getting there. So I can just work it in real quick. Or maybe in here. 
And then once that's done, you can get your garden hose just on the shower on the shower setting. So you're just rinsing it off now, and you just rinse it down. Again, same thing, blower or towel or just set it vertically for it to dry. There's still a little bit of stuff right here, so let's see if it comes off. And sometimes you will have to let it dry in order for you to see the true condition. So maybe you will, you, 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 if, you, if you're doing this at the very ends of detail, like you're, you're waiting to do this once you're done with everything else, you will want to dry it immediately so you can see if it's actually dirty or if you need to hit up some spots here and there. But since this is the beginning of the detail, we don't need to do that. We'll touch up any areas that do need it once we're done. Like I always mention guys, a pump sprayer is the way to go. Spray bottles just take too long. Uh, All right, and that's gonna wrap up this video. Wasn't much to it, pretty straightforward. Again, the main part is you most likely wanna do this in the beginning, that way you can just set them aside and let them dry. Same thing with the carpets as well. If you have the floor mats and then the ca carpet mats, do those in the beginning, that way you can just set them aside and let them dry as opposed to doing everything in the interior. And then at the end of the detail, once you're all done and you're almost ready to go, you're touching up, you're, you're doing the carpets and the floor mats, the carpet floor mats, and the rubber mats and then you're just going through the whole process so my suggestion is to always at best do them in the beginning let them dry while you're actually working come back to them touch them up where they need put them back in the car they're dry and ready to go so let me know if you have any comments questions concerns about the process tools and products anything that i did in the comment section down below other tools i use will also be linked in the description box and i'll see you on the next one